Audi has, to much surprise, released another update for its premium crossover Q7. This is truly a significant unexpected development, considering that the second generation of the crossover was introduced in 2014 and has already undergone one facelift by this time. Apparently, the company does not plan to introduce a new generation for the Q7 in the near future. Here in Ingolstadt, they have decided to follow Porsche's path and roll out a second facelift, while a fully electric Q7 is being developed within the company. Its three-row cabin and tall profile say SUV, but the 2025 Audi Q7's driving demeanor is surprisingly sporty. Based on the A6 sedan, the Q7 encompasses a lot of the sedan's polished road manners, along with its upscale furnishings. Models designated 45 are powered by a 261-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine and come with all-wheel drive as standard. The upgrade engine is a 335-horsepower turbocharged V6 that Audi installs in the Q7 55. The V6 adds considerable pep to the Q7 step. It hits 60 miles per hour in five seconds and increases towing capacity to a stout 7,000 pounds. Cabin trimmings are appropriately premium and the interior design follows other Audi models with a contemporary look peppered with digital displays and thoughtfully placed controls. The local price for the 2025 Audi Q7 hasn't been shared yet, but we do know that the Q755 TFSI begins at €82,500 in Germany, equivalent to roughly $90,000 at current rates. It won't be that expensive in the USA, though, as the 2024 55 TFSI starts at $65,300. The 45 model, though, is even cheaper and starts at $59,500 for 2024. We estimate the 2025 Q7 will start low in the $60,000 range for the 45 and around $68,000 for the 55 TFSI base model. The priciest trims will likely be in the $85,000 range. As mentioned, the BMW X5 is one of the Q7's key rivals. At an MSRP of $65,200, the six-cylinder X5 is roughly priced the same as the equivalent Q7, but it has more power. The 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLE class starts at $62,650 for the 2024 model year. The visually updated Q7 is impressive with the number of changes. Designers completely redesigned the radiator grille, changed its design and texture, created a new front bumper, and, of course, equipped the novelty with new optics. It looks a bit strange, but there are reasons for that. The thing is, this is the first Q7 for which Matrix LED headlights with laser light are available, of course, for an additional fee. They consist of 24 LEDs and a so-called high-power laser diode. You can recognize them by the characteristic blue light, which symbolizes this technology. The laser light activates at speeds above 70 km h and significantly increases the range of your headlights. For reference, laser diodes are 10 times smaller than regular ones and simultaneously much more powerful. This allows for saving space inside the headlight, reducing the size of the reflective surface almost tenfold compared to conventional LED elements. So this is the next step in the development of automotive lighting. Also new for the crossover are the daytime running lights. Because of them, the Q7 optics are perceived as two-tiered, which might not be ideal, but there's a plus side. Now in the Q7, you can change the design of the daytime running lights, selecting one of four different light signatures through the multimedia system. This feature is also available for the rear optics. By the way, the most advanced OLED panels are used there with a proximity indication function. What does this mean? When other road users approach the stationary Q7 from behind within a distance of up to two meters, the control units automatically activate all digital OLED segments, signaling the approach. 
Essentially, these are the most significant changes to the appearance of the updated Q7, aside from new body shades and wheel options. Colors for the facelifted Audi Q7 include three new metallics, those being Sakir Gold, Ascari Blue, and Chili Red. There isn't a great deal of change when it comes to the Audi Q7's interior, which may be disappointing to some. It's still filled with plenty of technology, from the crisp digital driver's display to the dual touchscreens in the center of the dashboard with haptic feedback controls. Audi has made some changes to the decor and general materials, however. The seats in the base Audi Q7 now have seams in a contrasting gray shade. Nine decorative inlays include new options like natural elm burl silver for the base model, matty carbon twill, and matty brushed aluminum, with linear silver embossing if the S-Line Sport Package is equipped. Some or all of these may appear on US Spec Q7s. An expanded range of apps will be available, including the ability for passengers to directly use apps from third-party providers like Spotify and Amazon Music for the first time. Audi has upgraded the surroundings display and information like distance warning, lane change warning, and intersection assist can be seen on the Audi virtual cockpit in full HD. Audi touts more standard equipment, with V6 models getting parking assist plus for the rear view camera and high beam assist. The remote parking system can automatically guide the large Q7 into a parking space. Three-row seating remains a feature of the Q7, although space is only abundant in the first two rows. We expect the Audi Q7's cargo space to remain the same, which would translate to 14.2 cubic feet behind the third row, 30.4 QFT behind the second row, and almost 70 QFT behind the first row. Although there is an array of engine choices for the Audi Q7 in Europe, the torquey diesels won't come to the USA and only one gas engine is detailed in the press release, the familiar 55 TFSI V6. Audi USA has confirmed that the same model lineup will be available for the 2025 Q7 range, however which means both the base, 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder 45 TFSI engine with 261 horsepower and 273 pound-foot of torque and the 55 TFSI will be available. The former sees the Q7 sprint to 60 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds. The 3-liter turbo V6 comes with a mild hybrid system, making 335 horsepower and 369 pound-foot. All Q7s have quattro all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission. The current models with the 55 TFSI powertrain can reach a 130 miles per hour top speed and will sprint to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. Interestingly, Audi quotes a quicker 5.6 second run for the longer from 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint with the 55 TFSI in Europe, so it's possible that more performance has been squeezed from the V6 engined model. A comfort adaptive air suspension has been equipped to the top Q7 models in the USA, and this will once again be available for the 2025 model year. Audi also made mention of an optimized steering system for improved maneuverability in tight spaces like parking garages. We expect rear-wheel steering to be an optional extra, as is the case for 2024 models. Thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and share your comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All the best and see you on our channel.